Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Sutton. This is part two of the lesson on Factor Theorem uh, and in this part of the video I'm going to be explaining how to use the Factor Theorem uh, to solve uh, cubic equations. Uh, so the question we have here is we have f of x, a function of x, equals x cubed minus 7x squared plus 2x plus 40. We're being asked to do two things. Part A, we're being asked to show that x minus 5 is a factor of f of x. And then in part B, we're being asked to hence solve f of x equals 0. So show that x minus 5 is a factor. Um, I need to show that that uh, divides into it with no remainder. So I'm going to use the factor theorem. So I'm going to use my knowledge that if x minus 5 is a factor, then f of 5 must equal 0. So uh, f of 5, if I substitute 5 into the function, so 5 cubed, take away 7 lots of 5 squared, plus 2 lots of 5, plus 40, uh, I get 125 uh, minus 7 lots of 25, which is 175, uh, plus 10, plus 40, which equals 0. Therefore, I know that x minus 5 is a factor of f of x. I must write that written conclusion. That's what I've demonstrated. x minus 5 is a factor of f of x. Now in part b, we're trying to solve it, which means first of all we've got to factorise it fully. Uh, and to be able to do that, we've got to crack out the old algebraic long division. Uh, but we should be absolutely pro uh, at doing this by now. So I'll rattle through this at a decent pace without too much explanation. x minus 5 out the front of the bus stop. The function of x that we're trying to divide into goes here. x into x cubed goes x squared. Multiply back x cubed minus 5x squared and subtract to find the remainder. Negative 7x squared take away negative 5x squared. Negative 2x squared. Bring down the plus 2x and repeat. x into negative 2x squared goes negative 2x. Multiply back, negative 2x plus 10x, because it's minus times minus. Subtract to find the remainder, negative 8x. Bring down the plus 40, and repeat. x into negative 8x goes negative 8. So multiply back, negative 8x plus 40. And as expected, we have a remainder of 0 which means x minus 5 goes exactly into this function here. Um, this is important though, this is not an acceptable way to answer part A. Part A says uh, show that it's a factor. You have to use the factor theorem when you're asked um, to show that it's a factor rather than doing the algebraic long division. The final thing that I've got to do to solve f of x equals 0 is I've got to say, OK, I can rewrite f of x as x minus 5 times by x squared minus 2x minus 8, which equals 0. I can now factorise this bit, the quadratic, into two brackets. So that's x minus 4 and x plus 2, not forgetting the x minus 5, which is already there. And that gives me three solutions for f of x equals 0 in my cubic. The first is that x is 5. The second, x is 4. And the third, x is negative 2. Uh, and what that actually means is if I refer you back to part A, we subbed in 5, we got 0. We would also get 0 if we subbed in x is 4, or if we subbed in x is negative 2. So there we go, using the factor theorem and then solving a cubic, job done.